Good morning. And welcome to Live with Lucky. Happy Thursday, January 7th, 2021. It's Thinking Maps Thursday, Thinking Maps Thursday. Woo woo. How nice are you, you got going on with that song. I love that it. song. How are you today, Miss Mott? I'm so good. I'm like, th I, it's Thursday. I'm so happy to be back and like seeing all my friends today online. I can't wait. How are I you? Know. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's been such a beautiful week of sunshine and good weather that I'm just grateful. So let's get started with our shamrock pledge. Just one second. Ready? Salute. Pledge. We are the scholars of Shamrock Gardens. We are dedicated, committed, and focused. We prepare for greatness by doing our best every day. We cooperate with our classmates, teachers, and staff. We respect ourselves and all people. We know that hard work is the key to success. There are no limits to how far we can go. We dream big, believe, and achieve. We will graduate from high school and be college and career ready. We will succeed. Yes, we will succeed. We will succeed. And as I said, it is Thinking Maps Thursday, Thinking Maps Thursday. And it's been a while since we had time for a Thinking Maps with our holidays around the world last week. And we did the book fair a couple weeks ago. Um, and so let's look at all of our types of maps we have here. Um, so the last map that we did, we've done a tree map, we've done a double bubble map in the past few weeks. And today we're gonna do a flow map. And when we look at a flow map, that is actually called a sequencing map. It helps show the flow of events in a sequence, in order. Um, and so, I was just wondering if if you had any thoughts about a sequencing map today, Ms. Mott. Hmm. Hey, I am just so ready to have, you said you're so thankful. I'm just so thankful and I'm ready to have a great Thursday today. Oh yeah, me too. So what does that mean? Maybe we could sequence our day from like beginning to middle to end. Oh, just and kind of like have a great day. The flow of our day on a flow map slash sequence. I love it. And actually, you texted me that, right? I think I, I you texted me your idea and I stuck it on our chart. Isn't that great? Woo -woo. So there it is. So tell me about tell me about your thoughts on this sequencing map. A great Thursday. I see some colors. I see some little details. So the the name of this map is a great a great Thursday. That's the overall the umbrella of what so. And then I chunked it into school day, after school, and night. Because hmm, that's those generally three chunks of our day. Yeah, that's generally how our day flows. You know, there's obviously details before and between and after, but we start our day. We go to school first. Next, we have our after school time. Then. It is our nighttime. Okay, so tell me more, what else? So these are things that I like to do to have a great day. So for school, I know if I'm prepared, I have all the things I need. Showing up for school, that means I'm prepared, that means I ate my breakfast, that means I brushed my teeth, that means my, uh, my device is charged, that means I am ready to go. Um, that piece prepared and then engaged. Like I'm sitting there just like, let's go. I'm here. I'm ready to talk. My camera's on. I'm ready to engage with my teachers, with my peers. So those are two chunks of my school day being two <laughs> details that kind of go with the event of being at school. And we've talked yeah. a lot this year during Health Tips Tuesdays and, you know, Focus Fridays about these things of how we can be prepared. It doesn't just mean like have your homework done. It's, you know, what we talked about eating breakfast, getting to class on time um, and how we can try to stay engaged in our new Zoom environment that we're back to right now. So 
I love that. Okay, so we have this flow of school and we finish our whole school day. We were prepared all day. We were engaged all day. And then what is the next step in the sequence? And then it's after school. Now I'm in my after school time and this is my time, right, for myself and for my family. And so there's definitely going to be some play going on there, right? We're going to get outside when the weather's great. I'm going to make sure that I have some play for myself, that um, my dog, my children, we're all playing and then having rest when we need it too. So like that might mean like after school, I might just need a minute just to like sit down and have an apple and just like breathe, you know, so that play and rest piece. Yeah, totally. And we've talked about these things in our health tips Tuesdays and our focus Fridays about, you know, getting that one hour of physical activity, the playtime after school could be a great time to do that. And then we talked about resting. Maybe it is watching a show, but not 10 shows. Maybe it's just watching one show after you play outside and giving yourself that time to rest and wind down. Okay, very cool. So we've got our sequence so far, school, our after school time, and now we're flowing into the nighttime. Tell me about this event in our day. So our nighttime is very important, right? Like how we end our day. It's just as important as how we start our day because it sets us up for success for the next day. So um, at night, basically my last two things of the night and my um, kids' last two things of the night are reading and then sleeping, um, right? Like we, we've done all the other things. We've played, we rested, we had our dinner, we had our discussion, we had our hang time. Now it's nighttime reading, um, whether you're reading with someone else, whether you're listening to a book, whether you're, you know, in your bed reading, uh, so good to end your day with reading. Like uh, what a great way. Yeah. And of course sleep. And I am really big on sleep, Miss Kayla, because I know that I can be prepared for the next day and I can be my best self because if I don't have enough sleep, I'm a little grumpy and I, that's not who I want to be in the world in 2021. Absolutely. Well, I loved your flow map slash sequencing map. I love how you added the details in there because in a good sequencing map, you can have those main green parts, the events, but you can also give a little bit more for each event and give the details at the bottom. So this was beautiful. Thanks for sharing that with us today, Ms. Mott. You're welcome. Well, we hope you all have a wonderful day of teaching and learning. Hopefully you can follow our flow today for a great Thursday. And we'll see you tomorrow on Live, Live with Lucky.